Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. Welcome back to the Faith Revival. So there's a very famous incident that took place that I'm going to bring back to the end of this episode. And that's the incident of a companion by the name of Hanzala radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who went to Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu and said, Nafaqa Hanzala. He said that I have become a hypocrite. Hanzala has become a hypocrite. He said, why? He said, because when we're with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we feel like our faith is full. I mean, I feel like I'm not connected to this world in any way whatsoever. Then I go back home and I'm overtaken by family and I'm overtaken by thoughts of the world and it all goes out the window. He And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, when he heard that, he said, well, in that case, Abu Bakr is a hypocrite too. So they both went to the Prophet Sallallahu claiming to be hypocrites and the Prophet Sallallahu he said that if you were to be in your own time the way you are with me, the angels would shake your hands. If you were able to maintain that level of Iman all the time, the angels would shake your hands. But he said, what I can sa'atan wa sa'a, a time for this, a time for that. Not a time for good deeds and a time for major sin. Meaning there are going to be times where you're not going to be able to have that level of Iman and faith. Now, this is where it becomes interesting. The fear that they had. You had the best human being that was not a prophet ever to walk the face of the earth going to the Prophet ﷺ and claiming hypocrisy. That actually was the character of the companions. Ibn Abi Mulaika, uh, who was one of the second generation of the Muslims, he said, I met over 30 companions of the Prophet ﷺ. He says, مَا أَحَدْ مِنْهُمْ يَقُولْ إِنَّهُ عَلَى إِيمَانِ جِبْرِيلْ وَمِكَائِيلْ not a single one of them claimed to have the Iman of Jibra'il or Mika'il, the angels Gabriel or Michael. All of them knew that they were always, always in danger of losing their Iman. And Ibn Abi Mulaika didn't meet any companions. He met Ali, he met Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqas, Aisha, Abu Huraira, some of the great ones. And he said that was their characteristic. What that means is that they knew that they were not like the angels in that even if they reached a position where they were comfortable with their Iman or they felt like they reached a benchmark, they could not become complacent because unlike the angels, we can then fall. Jibreel does not have to worry about falling one day, nor does Mikael or the great angels, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon them all because Allah has secured them from their desires and they are free from choice or free will in a way that would cause them to fall. We, on the other hand, no matter how high we reach, we have to worry about that. And Ibn Battal, the great uh, scholar who explained Sahih al-Bukhari, he said, look, these people lived and they saw the time after the Prophet wasallam, and think about how much changed after the Prophet wasallam passed away. Just the general barakah, the general blessing that was missing because the Prophet wasallam's presence was no longer there. So they all feared for themselves. And that in and of itself is a sign of iman. And Imam Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah says, مَا خَافَهُ إِلَّا مُؤْمِنْ وَلَا أَمِنَهُ إِلَّا مُنَافِقْ No one fears hypocrisy except for a believer, and no one feels safe from it except for a hypocrite. Only the hypocrite feels safe from hypocrisy. It's a sign of faith to be vigilant, to be worried about losing that faith. Abu Darda radiallahu anhu, the great companion, used to be heard after every salah, Asking Allah, Oh Allah, protect me from hypocrisy. Oh Allah, protect me from hypocrisy. Oh Allah, protect me from hypocrisy. So a man by the name of Jubair, he said, I said to Abu Darda, what is it with you in hypocrisy? He said, he said, leave me to my Lord. He said, verily a man is snatched away from his religion in a moment and it escapes him. Iman can be taken away from you in a moment. And it's often when we are not thinking about the dangers to our Iman when we become complacent. Imagine Abu Huraira asking Allah, Oh Allah, protect me from adultery and theft. You were listening to the previous videos on major sins and probably thought to yourself, that's talking about someone else, maybe I can send that video to them. I would never drink alcohol, I'd never commit adultery. Abu Huraira, the great muhaddith, the great companion who narrates all the hadith said, Oh Allah, protect me from, getting, from drinking alcohol or from committing adultery. Why? Because when he, he said that shaitan, that the devil was at the highest point and look where he fell to because he wasn't vigilant. So this does not mean we become paranoid with our iman. This means we always think with vigilance and we always protect it and guard it. 
and we don't leave it open and susceptible even to the major sins that we never think that we are capable of committing. That's where the problem is. It's part of Iman to feel protective, overly protective of your Iman. Now here's the beautiful thing about Hamwala. May Allah be pleased with him. Remember the Prophet ﷺ said, the angels would shake your hands if you were to maintain that state of faith all the time. Hamwala is Ghasilul Malaika. He is the companion of the Prophet ﷺ, whose body was bathed by the angels when he passed away. SubhanAllah. So the, the more we fear hypocrisy, the more we will be kept safe from it, inshaAllah ta'ala. May Allah protect our Iman from ever being corrupted by a major sin or a minor sin, and protect us from ever feeling complacent with it, so that we do not, so that we do not fall into the things that we do not think we're capable of. May Allah protect us and may Allah safeguard our Iman. Allahumma Ameen. See you next time, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.